Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. Welcome to Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang here to tell you everything you need to know about the 2010 Nissan 370Z Roadster Touring. They've reduced the size and weight and added a bigger engine, giving you ample grin provoking power and enough agility to hold your own on the track. The new exterior is more aggressive in appearance and it's lighter and tighter in structure than the previous model. The wheelbase is nearly four inches shorter and overall length is reduced by about two and a half inches. It has an aluminum hood, door panels and trunk for reduced weight and at the same time the body structure was revised to improve stability. It's got the signature long nose, short cockpit proportions, vertical door handles and a new headlight and taillight treatment which give the lights a boomerang shape. Now the soft top was designed with three goals in mind to give you a beautiful sleek silhouette whether the top was up or down, to provide an easy single button operation and to reduce wind noise. The top operation takes about 19 seconds start to finish and is controlled by a center console mounted switch. The trunk is pretty small, but you just might be able to squeeze a bag of golf clubs in there. The shortened 100.4 inch wheelbase gives it dimensions more similar to that of a classic Roadster and the 370Z is about 100 pounds lighter than its predecessor. It's got a 3.7 liter V6 engine that delivers 332 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. It goes from 0 to 60 in about 5.1 seconds. I'm really impressed by the interior and exterior styling. Every time I park this car and get out of it and take a look at it, I exclaim something like, damn, you're sexy. And the weather here has been really beautiful this week, so I've spent all of my days driving it with the top down, which is absolutely the way to go. So much fun. Inside, it has a digital information screen to the left of the tachometer, and your steering wheel has Bluetooth, audio, and cruise control. And above the center stack, you have three dash-mounted gauges, which I think look really cool. And below them, you have your audio and climate controls, as well as your seat ventilation controls. Now, the only issue with the seat ventilation is that it's pretty noisy, even when you have the top down and the wind is rushing by. But other than that, it's a really cool feature. The accessory power jack is located on the passenger side, right about shin level, which I thought was kind of weird until I realized that there's additional power jacks here in the center console, along with a USB port for your music player. The seats are strong, supportive, and comfortable, and they're actually a little bit higher than before, which gives you much better visibility. You also have these little shelves behind your seats where you can stow a bag. They're big enough, I guess, for a duffel bag um, and a couple purchases but anything bigger than that, you're gonna have to head to the trunk. There's also a glass baffle with the Z logo back here in between the roll bars, which really helps reduce wind. With the top down, the cockpit's actually pretty quiet. The wind blocker does a good job, and you can have a conversation without shouting up to about 60, 65 miles per hour. Then it gets a little tricky. It's got an advanced four-wheel independent suspension. The double wishbone front suspension uses lighter aluminum arms and a lighter cradle, along with a lighter stabilizer bar. Now the four link rear suspension is also stiffer and also lighter and it's got a rear cradle that's entirely integrated into a single part. There's also some high response shock absorbers on each corner to improve ride comfort. The steering is quick and precise, gives you lots of feedback and the brakes are very strong. This car is incredibly fast and very fun to drive. It's like a little antidepressant. More than once this week I stuck my hands at the top and shouted, I love my life! But then I remembered I got a speeding ticket last week and I'd better take it easy. Now only two option packages are offered on the Touring model. The Sport package, which will give you 19-inch wheels, Nissan Sport brakes, Synchro Rev Match, and Viscous Limited Slip Differential. And then there's the Navigation package, which gives you a navigation system, 9.3 gigs of hard drive space, streaming Bluetooth, and USB connectivity. Fuel economy is not too bad. You get about 18 miles per gallon in the city and about 25 on the highway. As for the pricing, a base model comes in at just under 42, and our test car, which has the navigation package, came in at just over 45. Nissan continues to impress me with their innovative, smart, and stylish designs. Gorgeous inside and out with sharp and precise handling, the 2010 Nissan 370Z Roadster Touring proves that you can have a soft top without sacrificing driving excitement. That's all today for Roadfly TV. I'm Jesse Lang and I want your input. Send us your comments, rate our videos, and join the Roadfly family by subscribing to our channel.
reduced the size and weight and added a bigger engine, giving you enough power. There's 332 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. <laughs> Weather alert. Uh-oh. warning around current location. I can't turn that off, I don't think, no matter what. Closed. To give you an easy single button operation. <laughs> Did you see the waterfall? <laughs> At least once throughout this week, I put my hands out the top and shouted, I love my life. It's <laughs> true good. story. No, it's a true it's story. Try this like <laughs> oh, could have been bad. Try that again. Okay. They say like it's big enough for your purse or if it's small. I know, I don't want to say purse small. and be all girly. <laughs> It's big enough for your gym bag or, yeah. or your European box and gloves. Satchel. <laughs> Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.